Good day and you're very, very welcome as we gather on this new week, on this Monday, to give a little time to the Lord, to experience the peace and the love which the Lord has for you. Just to take time aside, time to be, time to learn about the beautiful peace that Jesus gives to us. In John chapter 14 verses 1 to 6, he says to us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. That's the kind of trust we need to have in the Lord and to experience the power and the presence of his peace in your life. In the Mass, when we come to the sign of peace, we say, let us offer each other a sign of peace. We say, peace be with you and with your spirit. Of course, in these pandemic times, we cannot give one another a hug or shake hands or that. But it's that peace that we share, the peace of the Lord at Mass. Lord, just enable me to be at peace with you and with others. After the resurrection, Jesus, when he met with his disciples, he constantly was saying, peace be with you. Because he realized that the, after the crucifixion and death on the cross, that the disciples were ill at ease, they weren't at ease, they, they didn't experience that kind of peace. And that's why he said to them, peace be with you. And there's a call then again to tremendous faith, faith in, 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 in Jesus, faith in his ways. And we see Thomas, as we know him to be the doubting Thomas, maybe it's not a fair thing to levy on Thomas, the doubting Thomas. But Thomas said, unless I can put my fingers into the holes the nails made and put my hand into his side, I just don't believe. I don't believe. And then eight, ten days later, Thomas was with him. And he addressed Thomas. And Thomas's beautiful confession of faith, my Lord and my God, just to dwell with that beautiful profession of faith. My Lord and my God. with great confidence in a Father's love for us, for you and for me, entrust your life to the Father in the words Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
as with Mary who placed her trust in God and in God's ways. Mary, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray your blessing upon us and upon our families near and far. Keep them in your care. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.